So today, we've got a great recipe to kick off this beautiful week. We're talking sautéed zucchini with paprika and garlic. Now we've done a lot of different zucchini dishes here on Spain on Fork, but this one right here promises to be the easiest and most flavorful one yet. And let me tell you, with the technique we're going to prep and cook the zucchini in, it's going to keep its beautiful from texture with absolutely no mush in there, folks. We're talking easy to make, the simplest ingredients, and all done in just 30 minutes. Let's begin by grabbing two medium-sized zucchinis. These have already been washed and patted dry and cutting each one into diagonal slices that are one centimeter thick, which is a little over a quarter inch. The secret here, make sure each slice has the same thickness, that way all the zucchini evenly cooks. Then we'll transfer the slices of zucchini over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath and you want to make sure they're on a single layer. And we'll season the slices of zucchini generously with sea salt and you want to do this on both sides and we're going to let them sit here for about 10 minutes. Like I've told you in the past, when you're working with zucchini by taking this step, that salt is going to extract all the water out of the zucchini. That way later on when you cook it, it keeps its beautiful firm texture. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to transfer the slices of zucchini over some paper towels, once again making sure they're on a single layer. And we'll pat the slices of zucchini completely dry. This is not only going to help remove the water in the zucchini, but also all that excess sea salt, that way the zucchini is not overly salty. For the next step, I'm going to grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat. Important to use a medium heat here and nothing higher, otherwise the zucchini is going to brown too quickly in the outside and not fully cook in the inside. And I'm going to add in a generous 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 35 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, let's add some flavor into our slices of zucchini. I'm going to begin by cracking in some black pepper over each slice, and you only have to do this on one side. Then we'll add in a generous portion of garlic powder. And we'll top it off with a kiss of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. Like I always tell you, this is one of the best Spanish paprikas out there. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Once all the slices of zucchini have been seasoned, I'm going to start adding them into the pan with the hot olive oil. You want to add them in their season side down and all of them in a single layer, so cook this in batches. And I always like to add the first slice by the handle of the pan and then go in a circular motion. Then when you have to flip the zucchini to cook the other side, you know exactly where to begin and at the end, they're all going to be perfectly cooked through. And we're going to go for about two minutes per side here. This is enough time for the slices of zucchini to end up with a beautiful sautéed color, but most importantly, for the zucchini to be fully cooked through. And as you finish each batch, transfer the slices of zucchini over a wire rack, once again, making sure they're all in a single layer. This is also going to help and ensure that the zucchini does not get a mushy texture. And we'll continue to cook the rest of the slices of zucchini in the same technique until they're all done. And once again, you want to go for about two minutes per side to end up with perfectly sautéed zucchini. Once all the zucchini has been cooked, this dish is ready to go. I'm going to transfer some of the slices into a serving dish, and I like to stack them around each other as it gives it a beautiful presentation. Check it out, our sautéed zucchini with paprika and garlics done. Such an easy recipe, made with simple ingredients, but the best part, came together in just 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. All right, folks, as always, now it's time for the moment of truth. Here we go. It is absolutely delicious. 
But most importantly is that zucchini has a beautiful firm texture with absolutely no mesh in there. And the very simple flavors of the garlic powder, black pepper, and sweet smoked Spanish paprika, and that olive oil taking it to the next level. We saw this very easy to make, serve it as a tapas appetizer, or even as a side dish next to some grilled fish. Either way, the flavors promise to blow you away. Real quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Justin Zollers, Georgia Candiotti, Kelly Lorang, Mary B. Markovich, and Ellen Young. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.